Hello, are you taking Xanax? And you are, I want to say in my words, without a filter, sick and tired of the side effects and that you can get addicted very, very fast to Xanax. We have the solution for you because the nature is giving us an alternative to Xanax and it's called Kava. And I show you a really, really old book I have here. It's from 1998 and it's just about Kava. And even here it's written the mira mirage, mirage, miracle, miracle, <laughs> anti-anxiety herb. So kava is um, a product from which is growing not here. It's growing in Hawaii and in how's the other thing called? Pu, Pune, no what? Hawaiian and on the top. Polynesian. Polynesian. So. And in Hawaii and in the Polynesian, it's not called Kava, it's called Ava. Um, so the original name and pronunciation from this herb is Ava. But here in America, what? <laughs> Hello. Hi. So it's A-W-A. -A. Ava. 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 Like Hawaii. I'm, I'm, I'm assuming. Ava. Ava. <laughs> A W A. So yeah, um, but here it's known as kava, and kava is said to improve mood, well-being, and contentment, and induce a feeling of relaxation. It doesn't make you high, but it makes you relax. So you can get kava or ava. What do you say? Awa. Awa. <laughs> awa. In capsule form, like we have here, you can. Um, take it in as a tincture as we have here and if you're used to it because you have to get used to kava awa, <laughs> because you need to know how your body is reacting to it. I think it's the same with Xanax. You cannot start taking Xanax with a high dosage and then you are out. Yeah, um, you are out and you cannot do anything. So the kava drink is something I tried it. It is tasting like earth, like soil. Um, but it's coming from the roots. So if you really want to make yourself a kava drink, there is the measurement from one gram of kava powder and 15 milliliter of water. You can also use orange juice or you can use milk to mix it up because as I said, the taste is really heavy duty or you put some honey in it. But as I said, it, you have to be careful because of the reaction. That's the same with the tincture and the capsules. You need to know how your body is reacting to awa, kava. So um, better you start with a smaller, a smaller dose. What we do here with the capsules, um, let me see, we started here with maximum two capsules per day. I would really say if you never ever use kava and you don't have any experience with Xanax, then I would start with one. With the tinctures, it's the same. Um, the doses I said here is one to three dropper from kava tincture under your tongue. Kava tincture is not made with alcohol because this is the worst thing you can do. Mix kava with alcohol because it knocks you out. This is a no-no. Um, I heard from other herbalists, they tried it on their own. They mix kava with alcohol and they were really, yeah, they are getting sick. They were knocked out. So never ever use kava tincture with alcohol. Our one is made with glycerin and this is the reason for. So the kava is a root, as you can see, and the root as we said earlier, it's coming originally from Hawaii. So we have luckily, we luckily, luckily, <laughs> we have found um, a supplier directly from Hawaii. So we know exactly where it's coming from because kava, you cannot, there is no way you can get seeds for kava. Kava is like, for example, basil in one of our earlier videos, you have cuttings from the mother plant and then they have kava, what do you say, farms or plantations. plantations, and they are growing from the mother plant, the little kava plants. And that's the way you can get roots and you know it's not something whoever knows where it's coming from, right? Yeah, it was very interesting. So we saw more than one time how they do it. It's, you. so basil, yes, you grow that, you can grow that from seeds, yeah. but kava or ava, you cannot. It is direct from the roots. From okay, the mother plant. from the mother plant, and they cut it off like we showed you in the last video. Have a look about basil and other plants. You could cut off and put in water, and that's what they do. Well, over there, they even do it better. They just cut it. There's a certain knots in it. You have to cut between that. Like the roses, they have knots on. Yeah, and you put it between. Uh, you put it that direct in a pot. 
Yeah. I think it's something like a two gallon pot or something. Yeah. Okay. Still, it's and then it starts. The leaves start coming out, and then they know it caught, and that's the new plant. That's how. It, so it's a very very ancient plant, and very I would say time. It's, it, it, it's a lot of time. Yeah. yeah. And it needs that tropical. That's the thing too. That's why you can't grow it normally in any greenhouse alone. And... We we have to say the truth. We tried last year. We bought a kava plant, a live plant from I think it was Etsy. Um, we have no. We didn't have any research on it the time we did this, and the kava plant was like this. And I would say within a week it was dying because, as Ken said, the air is not moist enough, it's not yep. warm enough, so kava will not grow here if kava has not the environment. 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 It they needs need the, a certain ground pH too, which we couldn't. I mean, Hawaii volcanic ash and all that. So it would be a very, very, very big uh, working thing to get it up and working. I don't think this is this. no, no. Mm -hmm. Um, that's why we, we know where it's coming from and we just want to explain it to you that you cannot grow kava from a seed. There are no seeds. No, no. There, there is no way that you can see it because kava or awa is not growing out of seeds. So the what I have or what we have done with the kava roots, we put them in the grinder and then you have the kava powder. And this is the powder I filled up in the capsules. Or, as I said, if you want to try it, make yourself a kava drink or kava shake with one gram of kava powder and one uh, 15 milliliter of water. Warm water or milk or orange juice, a little bit of honey, because as I said, I, I tried it and the taste is for my tongue terrible because I don't want to take a bite of soil and have it in my mouth. So the benefits from the tincture and from the capsules from Kava, it's a muscle relaxation. It helps you with anxiety disorders, um, panic disorder, and reducing pain. Um, it also reduces craving for addicted substances such as alcohol or drugs. Um, there are in Florida, I guess it's in Florida, there are really Kava bars. They are serving the Kava drink. And you can sit there and drink it. And they say they get the feeling like being a little bit tipsy. You said tipsy. So, but it's not all the time. But there are kava bars in Florida. I don't know if here in the area. I never heard a, of a kava bar here in, in Nebraska. But in Florida, or I'm sure in Colorado, everywhere you can get kava bars where you can drink it. And you have the feeling of being tipsy, not drunk, and you can function. It's, it's like with other alternative herbs when I say, for example, we have the good night capsules, you take them, you sleep, you wake up, there is no side effects, you are not in a cloud. And it's the same with kava drinks. With the kava tincture, you have the same effect. I mean, to get the feeling you are tipsy, this would not help, it's not enough, and the capsules will not help. So for, for this reason, you have to find a kava bar or make yourself a kava shake or whatever you want to um, call it. As I said, it's calming down and it's reduce your stress. Taking care of anxiety with natural remedies is the best option and is reduce the change, the gen, the chains, the <laughs> chains of addiction. Um, as I said earlier, because for example, um, Xanax is called a benzo, and benzo from the doctors, they make you addicted to it. You can do whatever you want. If you take them over a, a certain time of a period, you will be addicted. And then you have to withdraw from the benzos like Xanax, um, which is not the case here with kava. That's why I say if you really have to take something, may you think about it and try it out. You can, I would not go ahead if you're already on Xanax, you are taking Xanax, I would not go ahead and say, okay, now stop Xanax and go, go and take kava. This is not working because as I said, the withdrawal you have to, how do you say, withdraw yourself from Xanax step by step by step. Right. May you have to ask the doctor for and this. And your, your doctor should tell you too, that uh, the withdrawal from Xanax, like from many other drugs too, or normal pharmaceuticals, you have to do it step by step. Yeah. You can't just say, from tomorrow on, I'm going to take everything natural. I'm going to quit all my pills. It doesn't work that way. It's a disaster. <laughs> yeah, because with Xanax in your blood and then taking this on top, kava on top, that could cause a serious problem. You don't want that to happen. You need this wear off time and this build up time from the new. But talk to your doctors, please. Remember, we are not doctors. No, I'm not done. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just another, saying. Yeah, another point is um, the doctors, they know 
hundred percent. They know about the side effects from benzos or um, Xanax or whatever, Valium or whatever. But they make their own decision. I want to say they judge that the benefits of the benzos like Xanax, Valium, whatever they give you um, on the prescription is worse than the side effects you can get from Xanax. So think about it. So they judge above you, above you yeah. and they make the decision, say this help. I don't care about the side effects, even if you're puking around or you're dizzy or whatever, you're feeling sick. This is the one I want to subscribe you. Maybe he's getting enough money for a prescription for Xanax or any benzos, but this is the way it is. So when as Ken said, please, please, please do not just kick your Xanax, your Valium, whatever you have in the trash and say, OK, now I'm going and be uh, healthier and take um, not Xanax or Valium or whatever. Um, I take Kaba or Valerian, which would be alternative to Valium. Um, don't do that. Do it step by step and tell your doctor. I'm sure he will be not happy about it when you say, oh, listen, doc, um, I want to wear down on my Xanax because I have an alternative, which is called Kaba. And I'm sure your doctor will say, oh, no, 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 that is not working. That's not strong enough. That's not true. They just want to prescribe, prescribe the medication from the pharmacy. So the pharmacy and the doctor is making money. Our opinion, but I'm sure you agree with us. So Kaba, we have to say, is in in a lot of counties is Kaba banned. Countries. Uh, countries, but it's still legal in the US. Um, for example, you cannot use Kaba or get Kaba is in the Switzerland, in France, in Poland, in Germany, UK, Australia, Japan, Japan, <laughs> Japan. and Canada. And the reason for it, because if you overdose, if you take too much from Kaba, pills or uh, tinctures or even the shake when you make it, it can harm your liver. And this is the reason why all of the other countries say, no, the risk is too high. There is some liver, uh, liver dam damage coming out of this. OK, if you take it in a normal dosage and don't overdo it, um, there is no liver, da liver damage um, written down somewhere. The first long term study investigation, the effects of Kaba or Ava, 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 whatever you call this in Hawaii, <laughs> um, of Kava extract in people with anxiety was published in 1997. Compared to the placebo, that's what they're doing when they are doing studies. They give you original herbs or mm, normal medicine and placebo. And this, the results was, and you can Google it, this is written everywhere. The results were that people with using Kava, they feel the results, anxiety goes down. And the people with the placebo, of course, there was no no reaction or no benefits because they didn't take Kaba, so they took the placebos. Um, but the test was done, the study was done, and that's something very positive. And I'm sure there's still studies running today. Now, we never know if this whole liver toxin and everything, if this didn't show up after the pharmacies realized, the big pharmacies realized, well, this is a lot better for the people and not healthier. We can't make any money on it. Hmm, possible. I can't see it's true. But it's Again, our opinion, it's yeah. always. And I'm sure yeah. most of the people you are watching our channel, you agree with us that the pharmacy has the thumb on everything. They will pharmaceutical, yeah. Pharmaceutical, they are making a lot of money and they are stepping back from alternative medicine, even if we have the proof of the benefits of here, for example, of Kava or any other um, herbs, medical herbs. But this is the way it is here in America. It's totally different in Europe. Um, we talked about this in a couple of our videos yeah. in here, you go to the doctor and you don't have an alternative. You have to go to your normal doctor in Germany. You have, they call it Heilpraktiker, um, homo. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, um, doctors, they are really working with herbs, with alternative medicine. They have offices there and some of the real doctors in Europe or in Germany, they even say, okay, for example, we have here Xanax, which would really help you with all your issues you have, but Kava, for example, is the alternative medicine. So it's up to you what you want to do with your body, what you put into your body. Totally different here in the States. And I'm sure we will not live as long as the American will change this and say, OK, <laughs> there is the alternative medicine. I'm sure other countries do the same thing. Now, the nice thing about Europe is they even have natural pharmacies out there yeah. where you can buy <clears throat> the pharmacies, make it just like we're making it here themselves. OK and they stand back in their product. Yes, they get the raw product like we get here. OK, they don't grow it themselves, but they get the raw product and make the right doses out of it for everybody, just like we're doing here. But we grow 90 percent of all of our products. But yeah. that's the way it's done over there. You do have the right 
to say, yes, the right. I want this or I want this, you know, of course, natural medicine. Hmm. Like if I take a Sanex, maybe that hits me within 30 minutes. If I take a Kava, they might, that may need 45 minutes to yeah. hit me. So there's always an up and a downside, but the healthier for your body that doesn't hammer you, that doesn't make you addictive, that would be Kava. Alternative medicine, herbal alternative yep. medicine. And we have really enough to help you with most of your issues you have. You just have to trust alternative medicine, yep. not just trust your doctor and get the peppy pills, get Xanax, get this, get this. Try or Google it. Is there an alternative? Call us because if you Google alternative medicine, I'm sure it's just no. coming up. Oh, this herbal corner. Oh, this herbal corner. Oh, this herbal corner. So. <laughs> no, there's more out there like, like us. But again, too, we, a lot of people don't realize the pharmacies, not the, pharma, the pharmaceuticals, what they are doing too, they'll take natural stuff, they'll pull like the DNA out of it. I don't think it's called DNA, but they'll pull the substance out of it and create that on a chemical base. Yes, they know that for hundreds and hundreds of years and thousands of years that natural medicine has worked, but that would be too expensive to do this all for them. That's their thing. So if we can make it chemically, let's make it chemically. It's a lot cheaper for us. That's the biggest problem. They know themselves that natural medicine is a top high quality. And on the other side, none of the herbs um, alternative medicine is approved by the FDA. The reason is why the alternative medicine is called as um, supplement, food supplement, and the FDA is not approving any food supplement. So that's why there is non FDA approvement from alternative medicine. And I'm sure it, the, the, re, the rumor was going around three years ago. They want to do that, but mm -hmm. um, nothing happened. So. Um, alternative medicine is the growing, we think that's the growing medicine you can heal your body with. You just need to find out the alternative and don't, for our opinion, don't trust the doctor. Yeah, you have this and there's a side effect. You can take this. So by the end of the day, you have one main drug and another one for the side effect and another one for the side effect of this. Not going to happen with alternative medicine. No. <laughs> so yet we or I am your master herbalist. I cannot, I will not give you any medical advice. Neither will I. No, we <laughs> we share you the experience, the knowledge we have, and but we will never say you have to do this or you have to do this. We can give you some kind of information, share the information with you, but as I said- That's our biggest point. We will never we ever- Yeah, what we share is from customers and friends that do use different of our alternative medicine. We do share that with you. And I'm sure you'll find it all over the internet too, that people are really looking into alternatives, alternative medicine. Yeah. It's a so, lot healthier. But other from that, I would say. I would say one more thing. Next, the next video, because I was talking a couple of times about volume, um, we want to make a video about volume you can get from the doctor and the um, herbal alternative is called valerian. So be surprised and watch for this video as well. Yep. Other than this, um, that's it for now. Love and light. Love and light. Ken and Ute. Ciao, ciao. Bye bye.